Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building out apps in Cursor, basically designing the apps using Magic Path, using image references, and then bringing them into Cursor where we can basically finalize our app and eventually, you know, connect our custom domain and so on and so forth. You know, if you design something using AI, right, without any types of image references, um, you get something like this basically looks very AI generated, right? You have like kind of like the same font overall. You have like these gradients over here. There's something about it that just screams AI generated. And so what I've noticed is that when you use a tool called Magic Path and you use image references from apps that you like, let's say that you're trying to build some type of directory or e-commerce site or, you know, web app, like that includes some type of dashboard or CRM. You can look for an interface of a direct or indirect competitor and bring that image into Magic Path. And then inside of Magic Path, you can go ahead and design it to your own liking. And then once you're done with that design, because again, Magic Path is like if, you know, Figma and ChatGPT had a baby, then after that, you can bring that into Cursor and go ahead and build out your app. And by the way, guys, if you, let, if you enjoy my videos, feel free to join my Discord. The link is down in the description below. Basically, what we do is we hang out every single day. There's a bunch of different startup founders, designers, developers, and more interesting people that you can meet. And yeah, I basically share like Google Meet links and, and different types of call links where you can get to know me and the other people that hang out with me every single day. So if that's interesting for you guys, go ahead and join that link is down in the description below. Now to start off, what we can do is we can go into something like Mobbin or, or Refero. Well, any of these tools are pretty good for this, but basically what we do is we go here and we look for different iOS or web apps that we want to kind of build off of. So let's say we find, uh, you know, YouTube's interface over here, right? We have YouTube over here. And as you can see, we have like the, the home page that looks like this. We have like a specific detail page for one YouTube video. And what I want to do is I just want to open one of these and I want to download the screen. And then going into Magic Path, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click anywhere right over here, zoom in a bit and I'm gonna upload this image. And once I upload this image, what's great about Magic Path is that I, I can actually ask the chat if it understands this specific image reference that I'm giving it. So we can say something like, do you understand this image reference? Click on send and immediately we get a response. Yes, I understand the image reference. It's a YouTube homepage layout with navigation, video cards, and a short section. How can I help you with it? And then here I can just prompt it to give an action, right? Let's build this out. And then as it starts building, you can see that it's starting to plan the design, then it's starting to update the layout. And then you can see over here, it creates like a little list of the things that it's actually creating, which is great. So it's like a live feed of, of everything that it's creating. And we basically get something just like this, right? Um, as you can see, there are a few things like these images that are missing. You can see that they have like the same title, but that's those are like little details that we can change now. And again, I don't want to build out a YouTube. I just want to build out something that has you know, this YouTube type of interface. Maybe I want to build out something like an educational platform with different videos regarding AI tools, for example. And it'd be great if I had, you know, the same type of structure as YouTube, where we have you, where you have like your history, your playlist, your videos, watch later, blah, blah, blah. But you also have explore instead of, instead of shopping, instead of music, movies and TV, blah, blah, blah. You have different types of categories like you know, development, design, security, I don't know, all these different things that you can kind of dive deeper into. So with that being said, now, you know, we have this YouTube thing. Now I just want to change the kind of, want to change the whole dynamic of this, right? I don't want it to be YouTube. I want it to be more of an educational platform for, you know, AI tools. So I'm going to say, keep the same design and structure, but make it more tailored towards a user who wants to learn more about AI tools you know, kind of like an AI tools, educational platforms. And now it's going to go ahead and, and build that. And look at this. We get this. Now we get the same type of layout, right? We got the same type of layout as YouTube, but now it's more tailored towards AI, right? You get this AI learn over here. We get the same type of nav bar, the same type of section over here, the same, you know, type of side, side nav, but instead of these different categories that we had before, if we go back to V1, we, you can kind of see we have trending, shopping, music, movies and TV, live, whatever. Now we have, you know, machine learning, language models, image generation, video, audio and AI, you name it. So it's, this is exactly doing what I wanted to do. So we have even like trending AI tutorials, 
we have quick tips, continue learning. Anyways, now what we can do here is we can even create like extra pages here. So for example, if we wanted to create like this um, recently watched page, or for example, like this YouTube video page, like if we go back to Mobbin, we get this one, what we can do is we can also download the screen, go back into Magic Path and prompt Magic Path to create this new. So whenever I click on one of the videos, it should open us to a screen like this. Do you understand? We can click on submit. All right. And now for the moment of truth, I'm just going to select one of these videos, go ahead and click. And we see the video preview with the little video button looks very kind of YouTube style. But again, with this whole like AI learning type of branding and design to it. And as you can see, we also only have the descriptions. We can also ask it to create like a comment section or like a comments section with like instruction instructor notes all right and so now if i go in here right i ask it to in the video detail view create a comment section with instructor notes so let's go down here and we have our you know description and our comments with instructor notes so that's looking great right so this is exactly what i meant now you can go on and on you can go ahead and remove certain things like for example if we're just a student we, we don't we don't really need something like this so we can delete this element click on save we can also select certain elements like this and kind of remove this little rocket ship because i think it looks a little bit too ai generated we can go ahead and change the, fo the font family to something like space grotesque make it a little bit larger instead of 24 we can make it like 36 something like that we can make it you know something like semi semi bold right click on save and we can end up even applying different types of, you know, design systems, which I have a bunch of other videos about this if you want to learn more. So basically you can go on and on. You can add different types of pages, right? All with this Ask Magic Path button. You don't need to open different pages on the, on the right or just double click and open different components. You don't have to do that. Let's just imagine that you're done. You have a bunch of these different pages. You like the design a lot. Now what you want to do is you want to bring this into cursor, right? So the best thing to do here is just click on this, you want to click on this view code button and you want to click on open in cursor. So we're just going to open in cursor, click on this full command and I'm going to open my terminal over here. Just paste this, click on enter and we're going to click enter on cursor and it's going to open the project automatically in cursor over here, as you can see, and basically cursor is, is open. So let me just put it like this. So y'all can see. All right. And basically what we have to do is just click here and we can do like something like yarn dev right click on enter and we can just go ahead and click on this link and as you can see boom this is our design in our local host and the beauty about cursor is that you know you can go ahead and use this ai agent on the right to help you add functionality you know add different types of api um, keys in some of your files or store some api keys in some of your files but when it comes to design, Magic Path is the real winner here. That's why I decided to use this Magic Path, Magic Path route first instead of just, you know, adding the different image references here in cursor. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it from my side. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any topics that you want me to talk about, please feel free to write them down in the comments below. And yeah, hope to see you next time. Join my Discord if you want to get in touch with me. So let's see each other next time. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.